Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. First, I want to discuss the wrong answer. So this is not at all how your tongue works. There is not one area of your tongue for bitter, one area of your tongue for sour, one area for sweet and salty, one area for sour, and one area for sweet. This is the wrong notion. This is an old idea that still has propagated and some random textbooks here and there might actually still teach you this idea, but it is not correct. This image is a representation of a single taste bud. And as you can tell, each taste bud contains several receptors that detect a single distinct flavor, okay? So this blue taste receptor, it only detects bitter, right? And then this green one here, it only detects sour, okay? And because each taste bud has all five of these receptor types, every taste bud can taste every single flavor at every part of your tongue. With that backdrop, let's take a second look at the question stem. How are the five different tastes, salty, sweet, sour, umami, and bitter, sensed by the tongue? Answer choice A, there are, uh, there, are <clears throat> there are areas of the tongue whose taste buds are sensitive to one of the five flavors. That is incorrect. Remember, we talked about that in the first explanation where each part of the tongue is sensing a different taste. That's totally wrong. Answer choice B, there are areas of the tongue whose taste bud types are sensitive to one of the five flavors. Nope, that's wrong. So there's not different types of taste buds. Every type of taste bud is the same because each taste bud is going to detect all five flavors. And that's what we get with answer choice C, where it says each taste bud is composed of multiple cells that combine to sense the five flavors. So there you go, that's our correct answer. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAS score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.